Black holes evoke visions of cosmic giants devouring anything that ventures too near. These regions are dominated by gravity, where nothing, not even light, can break free from its grasp. These massive entities serve as cosmic laboratories, pushing the boundaries of physics and challenging our comprehension of the universe. Investigating these mysterious phenomena allows us to delve deeper into these gravitational titans and reveal unknown aspects of gravity, space-time, and the nature of reality. But do black holes perish like the stars they originate from? They don't appear to be entities that would quietly fade away. So let's explore what exactly transpires as a black hole nears its demise. Simply put, black holes are the endpoints in the life cycles of massive stars. A stellar mass black hole forms when a large star runs out of fuel and collapses with a blinding supernova. Black holes appear in a range of sizes from the stellar mass black holes weighing 5 to 100 times the mass of the Sun to gigantic ones weighing more than a billion solar masses. This latter category of black holes is called supermassive black holes, and every galaxy is believed to host such a supermassive black hole at its heart. Because black holes neither emit nor reflect light, it is difficult to see them directly. But black holes aren't completely black. We can see a black hole by the accretion disk that surrounds it, which is a disk composed of all the gas and ripped apart stars the black hole is gobbling up. A good analogy of this would be water swirling down a drain. Back in 2019, we were able to get our first snap of a black hole using the Event Horizon Telescope. This black hole was at the center of galaxy M87. And in 2022, we got the first image of the supermassive black hole at the center of our very own Milky Way galaxy. Contrary to popular myth, perpetuated partly by Hollywood flicks, a black hole doesn't go on sucking up everything in sight like a gigantic cosmic vacuum cleaner. If our sun were swapped by a black hole of equal mass, nothing in the solar system would change. For Earth to be swallowed inside the blackness of this hole, it would have to enter its event horizon. An event horizon of a black hole is its boundary of no escape, its point of no return. And the radius of the event horizon of a black hole which weighed as much as the sun would be just three kilometers, which seems teeny in front of the 700,000 kilometers radius of our sun. So the Earth would have to go that close to the black hole to be devoured by it. One incredibly fascinating fact about black holes is that they can help you see the future. Yes. Basically, what happens is that time slows down unimaginably near a black hole because of its extreme gravity. So, if you ever happen to find yourself near a black hole, time would stand still for you, while you'll see the rest of the universe around you zip past in fast-forward mode. But how do the eventful lives of these mysterious monstrosities end? Though technically nothing, not even light, can escape the gaping jaws of these voracious monsters, things change when we enter the quantum realm. The celebrated physicist Stephen Hawking proved in 1974 that, in the quantum world, particles can escape a black hole's event horizon. But the process is excruciatingly slow. Hawking's theory goes like this. The space we consider empty is not actually empty. In the domain of quantum mechanics, such a space would be composed of particles and antiparticles popping in and out of existence. Now, if such a particle-antiparticle pair is created at the edge of a black hole's event horizon, one of the particles will be smacked clean by the giant that is the black hole, while the other will escape. It will appear as if the black hole has radiated a particle away in what is now known as Hawking radiation. And thus, the black hole will lose mass and shrink over many, many humongous numbers of years. In fact, it would take 10 power 100 years or a Google, from which Google derives its name number of years for a supermassive black hole to radiate all of its mass as energy in the form of Hawking radiation. Though humans have not yet figured out a way to cheat death, can the mighty black holes do so? Perhaps they can? Well, you see, how long a black hole lives depends on its mass. The more bulky it is, the longer it will take for all its mass to evaporate away. So a black hole can technically cheat death by tearing and ripping apart and gorging on more and more material from around it. But that would just be akin to the universe granting a black hole, pleading for its life, some more time to live. For at some point, the universe will run out of material to feed the ravenous black hole. And then the countdown on its clock of death will start ticking. In the final tenth second of the life of a black hole, 
It will explode in a blinding burst of fireworks with the energy of billions of nuclear bombs going off in space. Indeed, for a life so exotic and mysterious, the death should be no less spectacular. But moving away from the death of black holes, can one black hole devour another black hole in this so-called clash of the titans leading to a total annihilation? Let's delve more into that. At the center of each massive galaxy, such as our very own Milky Way, lies a black hole. These black holes are called supermassive black holes, giving an idea of their enormity and size. They have a mass which is million to billion times the mass of our sun. No one yet knows for sure how they form as many theories abound. Black holes can either form by accreting or accumulating matter, or by the merger of other black holes. A few supermassive black holes accrete the hot gas surrounding them at superfast rates as they spin. Can such supermassive black holes collide? And if they do, what will be the final outcome? Most big galaxies have a supermassive black hole. The supermassive black hole at the center of our Milky Way was recently imaged by the Event Horizon Telescope. It is called Sagittarius A Star. Its mass is 4 million times that of the Sun. It is at a distance of 26,000 light years from us. Considering that galaxies can exist for billions of years, galaxy mergers are pretty common in the universe. And when two galaxies collide, the supermassive black holes at their centers collide too. So, what do we hope to see if we ever see such a merger? First of all, such a merger would release gravitational waves. Gravitational waves are ripples in the fabric of space-time that are released when two massive bodies like black holes or neutron stars collide. Gravitational waves also travel at the speed of light. But unlike the merger of smaller black holes which only release gravitational waves, in the merger of these supermassive black holes, we would also see X-rays accompanying the gravitational waves. The X-rays are released as a result of the accretion of surrounding hot gas by these black holes, while spiraling into each other, releasing enormous amounts of energy. Eventually, the two giants will merge into each other and become one. In fact, the event is so violent that after the merger, a jet of particles traveling at speeds close to the speed of light is expected to shoot out from the center of the newly formed black hole. While the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, or LIGO, has helped us to see the mergers of smaller black holes, we have never observed the merger of two supermassive black holes. That is because the frequency of the gravitational waves generated by a supermassive black hole merger is lower than what LIGO is equipped to detect. Hence, the European Space Agency is planning to launch a space-based gravitational wave detector called LISA, the Laser Interferometer Space Antenna, to detect such mergers. It will orbit the Sun along with the Earth. As of now, its launch is scheduled in 2037. Probably when Andromeda merges into our Milky Way, the echoes of the merger of their supermassive black holes will ring through the universe, and an advanced civilization would hear them and gather scientific data from them. Share your thoughts in the comments section below, and be sure to subscribe to the channel for the latest revelations in space exploration. Hit the bell icon to stay updated, and let's continue to explore together.